Hey guys, it's Andrew the Squid Montanez here. On this episode of MMA Surge, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the Dars Choke. The Dars Choke is a form of a head and arm triangle that uses the forearm to crush your opponent's carotid artery. Now I'm gonna show you exactly the steps it takes to do a Dars Choke. So the first most commonly used position that you'll see this Dars Choke used is when a guy is in all fours, possibly on a failed takedown attempt, where you end up in this position, and possibly some sort of a sprawled position, a defensive position. Like many chokes in jiu-jitsu, and, and all sorts of fighting, a lot of them combine the arm and the head. Same thing with this choke. We're gonna combine his head with his left arm. I'm gonna have my weight on him with my legs sprawled out. I'm gonna have my right arm like kind of lingering near his armpit, and I'm gonna put my right knee down, and I'm gonna take a quarter step back. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna take a quarter step back, and I'm gonna shoot my arm through that armpit to the right side of his head. Now that I'm here, I put my head against his body, arm up, I grab my own bicep with my own hand, and I bring my hand to his back. So I pretty much have the choke locked in. For me to finish this choke, I'm gonna sit to my near side hip, which is my right hip, and I'm gonna bring him to his left hip. To make this choke tight, you go on your side, squeeze your hands, and you're gonna walk your legs toward your opponent, forcing the tap. What's going on here is I'm choking him, but also my forearm is digging into the side of his carotid artery, forcing him to tap and bringing extreme pain to him. The second way I'll do it, if the guy's in all four position and I'm behind him, I'm behind him, controlling, you can be down on your elbows. What I do is I have this position where I'm kind of just controlling his back. I take the arm that's furthest away and I bring it around and up and in and through. Reach my hand, I'm gonna sit forward like this, lock my hands, pull him down, hand on his back, walking my feet in and getting the tap. And the third way you could do it is if my opponent's laying on top of me, controlling me from north-south position, I'm gonna work my hand through the side of his head the same way I would lock the choke if I was on top of him. Push his arm through and grab my bicep. Once I have this locked, go to your side, sit and get the tap. So no matter what position you do this choke in, whether it be top, down, or bottom, you always wanna come through this near side with your arm. So just remember that wherever you're trying it, you'll find a lot of success with this move. So now let's check out the Dars Choke in full speed. Let's get down into the failed takedown position. I'm out in front of him. If I want to hit this fast, I get my arm out to the side, lock here. When I'm set, drop him to his side, walk him on in, and get the tap. Show one more time on the other side. Same thing, I'm in front of him with this failed takedown position. Arm goes through, I'm out to the side, grab, sit, walk it in. I have back control on him, he's down on all fours, I'm behind him, arm goes through, grab the bicep, and sit. So show again, here, arm goes through, drive him over, sit, and lock the submission. Last way I like to do it, north-south position, so he's on top of me, push his arm, and get my submission. You could do the Dars from a failed takedown position, you could do it from a back control position, and you could also do it from north-south position. When you get the choke, make sure that you put the arm through the bottom side of the armpit, keeping the blade of your arm, because that's what's gonna finish your choke. Grab your bicep, drop him down to his side, and walk your hips in and you'll get the finish. All right, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave me a message letting me know what move you want to see next time. I'm The Squid, this is MMA Search, and I'll see you next time. Feeling a little down? A little tired? Go to our website, MMASurge.com, for your daily surge of MMA. Nice. <laughs> yeah.